Welcome to this presentation by Career Development on career fair and resume tips for the upcoming accounting, finance, and business career fair for Gwen and Mercy University students. During this presentation, we will discuss the services and resources of career development, some basic resume information, and specific information regarding the accounting, finance, and business career fair. Let's start out with some information about career development. We have a number of services and resources that will be useful for you as a student and an alum. We can help you with your resume and cover letter. We can assist you with your internship and job search. We can help you with interviewing. That includes in-person practice interviews, virtual practice interviews, and we also have an interview software. And we also have a number of job fairs, workshops, and events throughout the fall and spring semesters. If you wish to schedule an appointment with a career development staff member, you can email us. You can schedule a video interview like on Zoom. We can talk about it on the, over the phone. You can do an in-person appointment. So please email us at cd at gmercyu.edu to schedule an appointment. We have a number of resources that will be helpful for you. Please take note of the first bullet. That is the career development website. It's gmercyu.edu slash cd. That's where you'll find sample resumes, including resumes that can help you get prepared for the, for the career fair. You'll see cover letter examples, interviewing questions and tips, job and internship strategies, information and tips, graduate school and career and major exploration stuff on there too. The second bullet is Handshake. This is our job and internship posting website. Every Gwinnett student already has an account. It's the same login as your GMercyU email and portal. The website is gmercyu.joinhandshake.com. Big interview. This is where you can do a practice interviewing interview with the website that we have, and you can record yourself answering general questions or specific industry questions and you can evaluate it. You can also email us your answers for us to review as well. It's completely free for Gwinnett students and can be done on your own computer or phone. And if social media is your thing, we post a lot of career tips, information, and positions such as jobs and internships on Twitter and Instagram. And you can also network with Gwinnett alumni on our LinkedIn page too. Let's start out by talking about the resume. You will need a resume for the, for the career fair. And even if you don't go to the career fair, I would advise you to get your resume prepared. Think of it as a marketing tool. You're gonna to brand yourself. It's a way you make a good first impression. You get a chance to showcase your skills, your experience, and your knowledge. Your resume is unique. It's based on your specific interests and goals. You also wanna bring the document your skills, your experience to life. And how do you do that? By utilizing proper action verbs and descriptions. And maybe most importantly, you wanna personalize your document. You wanna gear it towards the employer and the job. What I like to tell students and alumni is you wanna give the impression that this is the job you want and this is the place you want to work at. Two important areas for resume writing include the content and the format. The content includes how well written the document is, related and other experience. And it goes beyond jobs. It includes volunteering, mission trips, alternative spring break, student clubs, athletic experience, internships, summer jobs, anything like that, even class projects, professional associations. So if you're an accounting student, Maybe you belong to PICPA, that would count for that too. Training, certifications. The format includes how well is the layout, the design of the, of the resume. If your resume is, is well-written, but it doesn't look good, it's gonna be very hard to read and you might not be considered a candidate for the position. So make sure you really work hard on the format. Make sure it's easy to read and it's easy to find information. That includes having proper margins, spacing, font type, and size, and headings. I'll go through a resume checklist with you in a little while. 
Let's go over some characteristics of a good resume. This will help you create a solid resume for yourself. You want to use action words. You want to be consistent with your formatting. And what I mean by that is if you use bullets, make sure all your bullets line up going down the page. If you bold one job title, make sure all your job titles are bolded. Your heading should be set up the same way. So you want to be consistent. Your document needs to be easy to read and easy to find the information and eye-catching. You do not want to have massive blocks of text. So what I mean by that is you don't want giant paragraph descriptions. It's hard to find information. It's hard to read. You want to use bullets. Bullet descriptions make it easy for the employer to read information. Remember, your resume is not a biography of your life. It's not a list of everything you've ever done. So you may have a document that has everything, but then when you start creating specific resumes for an internship or a job or a career fair, maybe you remove some stuff and save a different document. So it depends on the position you're applying. Put yourself in the shoes of the recruiter. Would you want to see all this information in the resume? And remember, it's not a fixed generic document. And also, you, don't, you want to try to eliminate any grammar or spelling errors. You do not want to come across as careless and sloppy. I mentioned action words a few times. You want to make sure you use proper action words and also the proper tense. If your internship or job is currently happening, you want to write in present tense. If it happened in the past and you're no longer doing it, you want to use past tense. So some examples include compiled data used in tax returns from online investment databases. So by using compiled, you're saying this is from the past. If it's current, you would say compile. The second one, conducted research project. Then developed various strategies to increase visibility and reduce cost. Market and publicize events. So you want to make sure you use good action verbs that help bring to life your document. How do you know what words to use? Well, you need to start learning the lingo of your career field, not just for your resume, but for your interview as well. You wanna read job descriptions. I would say read a lot of job descriptions. You don't have to apply to these positions, but you just wanna see what employers in these industries are looking for. What kind of skills are they looking for? knowledge, experience, what types of action words do they use? And if you have some of these skills or knowledge, you want to use some of these words on your resume and even discuss it during an interview. Two websites I would suggest that you look up job descriptions include a general one, which is Indeed, and also Handshake, which is the Gwen and Mercy University job and internship posting website. You could also use the U.S. Department of Labor's website, which is called ONET Online. When you go there, just type in the job title in the top right search box, and it will provide a lot of words and skills and qualities that are specific for that career industry. This wall will help you write your resume and help you during the course of an interview and at the career fair as well. We talked about some good characteristics of a resume, but let's talk about some resume mistakes to avoid. These are some common mistakes that I see and some, some common mistakes that Hiring managers of all different career industries have said that's common for them to see as well. Those include spelling errors, typos, and poor grammar. You mentioned grammar and spelling before, but typos is something I see a decent amount of. For example, somebody means to write 2023, maybe they have an extra zero in there. So that's why you want to carefully go through your resume and have it reviewed by somebody in career development. You mentioned formatting before. Definitely work hard on your layout and your format, not just your content, both areas you want it to be strong as possible. You don't need the phrase on your resume, references available upon request. I like to say that just takes up space. Of course, you will make them available if the time is needed. So you do not need that phrase or the list of your references on your resume. It just takes up the space. You want to save it for more important information. You want to avoid using first person, like I did this, I did that. That's part of the reason why the next bullet underneath it, you want to use action verbs and phrases. You could use first person in the introduction section, like a qualifications, a profile, an objective, but avoid using it anywhere else in your resume, especially 
in bullet descriptions of your internship or job. And if your resume currently is a template or a pre-made resume format, I would suggest starting over in a blank Word document and spacing things out yourself. Use our resume checklist to help you with that. It will make your life easier. Your resume will stand out more. Templates and pre-made resumes tend to have awkward spacing, font choices, and sizes, and can be tough to read sometimes. One last part about resumes before we jump into career fair tips. You can find a number of samples, including for accounting, finance, marketing, management, and other business areas on our website. Go to the career development website, gmercyu.edu slash cd, click on students, and then go down to the resume section. You'll see a number of different samples. Make sure to review the resume checklist as well. That will go through what's expected for both the content and format to make sure you avoid having any of those mistakes. Let's talk about the specific career fair, the accounting, finance, and business career fair. It's coming up. It's on Friday, September 29th from 9 a.m. to 12. This fair has been going on for more than 15 years and Gwen and Mercy University has been a co-host, co-sponsor of this for a number of years, including this year. There's about 10 other schools involved in this, but Gwynedd and Cabrini are the two coordinators of this fair. This year's fair is at Cabrini University. We alternate every few years between the two schools. There'll be more than 30 employers at this fair. Lots of internships and lots of job opportunities will be available for students, whether you're a sophomore, junior, or senior. And if you're a freshman, if you attend this event, it'll give you a chance to network with future employers for some of these very competitive internships and jobs in the future. To get more information and to see the list of employers, go to Handshake. The link is right there. It's gmercyu.joinhandshake.com. And the instructions, they see the information is just click on events and you scroll down till you see the accounting, finance, and business career fair. And you'll see all that information. I will also show you uh, the Handshake page in a minute. So here's what the Handshake page will look like for you when you log in. On the left side here, you have jobs, events, and employers. You want to click on events. And once you're there, you can either just scroll down until you get to September 19th or 20, September 29th to see the event. Or in the search box here, you could type in business, accounting, whatever the keyword is for this event. I'm going to type in accounting here. And I'll bring up the event right here. And when you click on it, it gives you the general information of the event, the location at the top. And when you click on all employers, you could see a list in alphabetical order of all the employers that are registered for this event. And then you can click on it to see more details of each employer too. This is one of the things you want to do before the career fair is know who's coming and do your research. As of now, there's almost 30 employers registered already. So we have a few months before we even get to September 29th. So there's a great number of employers coming to this event. When it comes to succeeding at a career fair, there's generally three steps before, during, and after the career fair. It's sort of similar to a class presentation and similar to an interview. That preparation is the key. You really need to research, review, and practice. You don't wanna show up to the career fair and not know what you're doing and not have a plan. You wanna bring copies of your resume, either in a nice looking folder or what they call a pad folio. You could buy a pad folio at the university's bookstore. And you definitely wanna dress professionally. For this career fair, if you have a suit and tie, I would suggest you wear that. At the very least, wear nice khakis, a nice dress shirt, nice shoes. So it's very important to, to look professional for this career fair. Here are some tips for before the career fair. You want to prepare what people call the 30 second commercial or elevator speech. What are you going to say to these employers when you walk up to the table? You don't just walk up there and stand there. You need to introduce yourself. You need to hand them a resume. You want to discuss who you are and what do you want. Here's a generic example. I came up with a sample to kind of guide you through creating your own 30 second commercial and elevator speech. It goes like this. 
Hi, I am Griffin Jobseeker. I'm an accounting student at Gwen and Mercy University, where I have completed coursework in income tax, payroll, and cost accounting. I currently work at, and you can discuss where you work at, or you can mention I've interned at or interned at, uh, talk about that too, where you've developed skills in, and this is where you want to know what employers are looking for. So reviewing those job descriptions, reviewing ONET, now you know to mention two or three skills that you feel are important towards that industry. If you have a good GPA, you can mention your GPA here, like this example shows. I also carry a 3.7 GPA where I'm active in the business club or maybe PICPA if you belong to that. And now you talk about your goal. My goal is to begin my career as a staff accountant to make the best use of my skills and education. It talks a little bit more there about the education. And then lastly, you need a conclusion. I'm interested in learning what opportunities your organization has available. You could be even more specific. If you're a sophomore or a junior or a senior looking for an internship, you can mention what internships does your organization have available or what entry-level positions do you have available and how do you go about finding them and applying for them? So take some time. Make sure you work on your own elevator speech before you show up to the career fair and practice it out loud. If you need help with that, contact a career development staff member, and we can work with you to create your own 30-second commercial. I wanted to include some photos of Career Fair to give you an idea of what it looks like if you've never been to one. If you look at the photo in the top left, you notice how the student is holding a folder, probably has resumes in it. Make sure you bring a pen and blank paper, too, in case you need to write some notes during the Career Fair as well. You want to walk up to the table, introduce yourself, hand a resume to the employer, and um, take some notes maybe afterwards and ask for contact information or a business card before you leave. The second photo shows something similar there too. The student is handing the employer a resume. There's two employers, it seems like, there at the table. Some tables will have multiple representatives, some will just have one. The bottom photo shows you a overall view of the career fair. So at the one that is in September, there will be anywhere from 30 to 40-ish employer tables at the career fair spaced out, and you can walk to every table, or you can decide what employers you want to speak with beforehand and have a plan before you go there. Some other career fair tips during and after the event is, like I mentioned before, you want to have a plan. This is where it's important to go on Handshake and see what employers are going, research those employers, and decide which ones you want to speak with. Although, I do tell students, speak to some employers that you are on the fence about because sometimes those are the employers that you become really interested in after learning more about them. So go outside your comfort zone and speak to as many employers as possible. Another tip is, especially if this is your first career fair, don't go to your top choices first. Practice go speaking and practice your 30 second commercial at some employers that are not your top choices. And then when you feel comfortable, when you feel ready, then you go to your top choices because you'll be ready to go. Again, ask for contact information at the end or a business card. That way you can follow up with any questions or you can send a thank you note to them, which helps you stand out versus the other competition as well. I want to mention Big Interview again. That's an interview website that we have where you, you can conduct practice interviews. The reason why I mention it is you can practice your 30 second commercial on there. During that, they will ask you, tell me about yourself. That's the same thing as a 30 second commercial. You could record yourself answering that and watch it to see how you're doing. You could share your answer with a faculty member or a career development staff member to do that too. You could also practice lots of other interview questions as well, but specifically for the career fair, I would practice tell me about, about yourself. If you have any questions regarding the upcoming career fair, or your resume, or anything else, please contact Career Development. We are located in Keys Library. Email is listed underneath there. And also our website, again, has a lot of that information.